Let's talk about the Minnesota Vikings. This is a team that has one of the best records in all of football, but you had a lot of people are disrespecting them because how they lost against the Green Bay Packers. They lost 41 to 17, and then you lose to the Dallas Cowboys early in the season, 40 to 3. So a lot of people are saying, who are the real Minnesota Vikings? Are they the team that beat the Buffalo Bills by three in that crazy overtime game? Or are they just a team that can't stop anybody and be an early playoff exit? When I look at the Minnesota Vikings, this team has a lot of problems and it's being masked by this offense. The offensive line has dealt with injuries, but it's just not all on the offensive line dealing with injuries. This defense is historically bad. This defense is horrible. And Coach Ed, regardless of what happens in the postseason, they got to let him go. The defensive coordinator for this team, Coach Ed, he got to get out of here. Because this team has too many stars on defense to be as bad as they are. Harrison Smith is still a good safety. Patrick Peterson is still a good veteran corner. Daniil Hunter and Zadarius Smith both have 10 sacks. Daniil Hunter has 10 and a half sacks. But when I really look at this Minnesota Vikings team, they can't stop the pass to save their lives. They are 30, they are 31st in total defense, 31st in pass defense, and 19th in rushing defense. This team cannot stop star receivers to save anybody's life. And it's gonna come and it's gonna come and bite them very badly. This team will get punished by the Philadelphia Eagles and any other team that has high power weapons on the perimeter because they don't have guys that can stop them and they don't have the true coaching that can come out there and stop them as well. I know that the Minnesota Vikings have won a lot of close ga games this year. They beat the New York Giants by three and they beat the Buffalo Bills by three in that crazy overtime game. But this is also still a team that had a New York Jets team that is terrible in red zone efficiency put up 22 points, and they almost lose that game as well. They are two Kirk Cousins dependent. When I look at this offense, they're the 12th best offense in the NFL, 5th best in passing, 26th in rushing. So it's been mostly Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson. That's what it has been. But other than that, this team has nothing else to ride and hang their hat on. Their defense can't stop anybody. And when I really look at it, I can't put it all on Kevin O'Connell because he has been a very good head coach and a very good play caller this season. He has been a star head Head coach this season but the problem is with Minnesota Vikings if your defense can't stop subpar teams in the regular season imagine what's going to happen when you go against the top tier teams in the NFL playoffs they can't beat teams like the Dallas Cowboys they can't compete with teams like the Philadelphia Eagles if the Buffalo Bills ran it back I don't think they could beat the Buffalo Bills because of how bad their defense is you're going to have to hope that Kirk Cousins goes out there and score 35 plus 30 points isn't even safe for this team because your defense is giving up 40. They got wiped off the field by the Dallas Cowboys. And what I'm starting to see is when Kirk Cousins isn't going, the rest of the team doesn't go. Justin Jefferson isn't going. Adam Thielen isn't going. And Adam Thielen is still a good wide receiver, but he's not the wide receiver he was two, three years ago. He's not the same that guy that's going to go out there and get the same separation at the same rate he was a couple years ago. I'm not saying he's a bad wide receiver. He's just not still getting the same separation that he used to get. That's KJ Osborne now. That's the guy that's fitting to that role. And TJ Hawkinson has been decent since he came over in that trade. But instead of trading for a tight end, they should have traded for a guy in the secondary to help out this defense. They are too offensive dependent and it's going to come and it's going to hurt them. And the injuries to the offensive line do not help at all. Because these guys on the offensive line cannot protect Kirk Cousins right now. And if you can't protect the guy that keeps this team afloat, you're going to find yourselves at home being one and done, regardless of who they play in the first round. And I'm one of the guys that said, hey, the Minnesota Vikings deserve a lot of respect. Put respect in their name. I am very frightened about what their playoff future is going to look like. In a couple weeks, this team, we could be talking about this team being on a somewhat of a rebuild mode. But they have to get a true defensive coach in there because what they have right now is not going to work. Like I said, they have too much talent on this offense to be in the situation that they're in. Eric Kendrick is still a good linebacker with Jordan Hicks. I like those guys. But it's no, it makes zero sense to why this defense is so bad. And it comes down to coaching. And it's not on Kevin O'Connell. It comes down to Coach Ed. 
So let me know how you feel about the Minnesota Vikings in the comment section below. Do you think they're going to make a deep playoff run? Do you think they'll be one and done? They're just frauds. I look at Kirk Cousins this season, has a lot of interceptions, but he, him and Justin Jefferson have been great throughout the season when you talk about both of those guys together. The thing is, when you get a lot of pressure on Kirk Cousins, that's when he starts to fold. And when he starts to fold, those receivers don't get going, and it looks like the whole chemistry is down. This team had a major comeback against the Indianapolis Colts, but it's sad they were put in that situation to begin with because the Indianapolis Colts are one of the worst teams in the NFL. So yes, it was a great comeback, but they should be ashamed of themselves that they were down by that much in the NFL. This is a team that can obviously come back and win some games, sure. But I don't know if their defense can come into clutch and just stop teams like how they stopped the Indianapolis Colts. They completely shut them out in the second half. Damn near. So it takes Kirk Cousins to be a superstar for this team to reach that next level. And I think we're pretty much in the point of where we're looking at with Kirk Cousins right now. He's not a top five quarterback. He's good enough to get you to the playoffs, but he can't compete with the top excellent defenses in the NFL. So let me know in the comment section below what the Minnesota Vikings should do moving forward. And do you think this team is legit? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, we want each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Peace.